Hey, what's up guys? It's Gabe with Nerd Tech. And if you follow me on my real estate sales stuff, my real estate wholesaling stuff, automations on Go High Level, then you'll wanna watch this video. Made a few updates that are gonna be really helpful for people already using my account or anybody who might be interested. Inside my global folder, I'm gonna show you I have a new automation from Real Phone Validation. And this is a simple one that if we tag it with Real Phone Validation, it goes through their API. And then what happens is it tells us if the phone is connected, which means it's active, and it tells us the phone type is mobile. Let me explain to you why this is super important, because most people in Go High Level have trouble texting at mass, especially cold texting. And the reason is, is not only because they need a check for cell phone, most people know that, but the second thing you have to check for is if the cell phone is active. Go High Level actually limits you I think it's either three or five percent uh, of an error limit that when you text mass phone numbers, if the phone is not active or in service and you hit that certain threshold, it'll actually shut down your account or suspend your account. And I think you get three times before they try to permanently suspend you. And then it's a long process trying to get your account activated again. So if you're using Go High Level and you're doing any sort of texting in mass, real phone validation is a third party platform I've used. And that I found that can actually ping the cell phone before a text is sent to make sure it's active. Go High Level does not do this natively. It has to be a third party application. Uh, many people are checking for cell phone or landline. That is great, but it's not good enough. You need to check to make sure it's actually active. So this makes checks that. We store this in a field called status and phone type. And then we're able to send a text message only if uh, those prove to be true. Now, let me show you an example of how I've built this into a cold texting automation. If we go back, go to our solar folder here, I have one called Real Phone Validation Cold SMS. So I've built this into a, a cold texting automation. What we have here is a tag, Real Phone Validation. This tags the contact telling us that it's been validated, then it sends to their API, just like I showed you and then it updates the contact field it stores the phone type and the status so that we know and then we have a condition here if else if the status is connected and if the phone type is mobile then if it's true it goes down this path if it's not true it dies we don't want to text these numbers if they're not mobiles and if they're not if their status is not connected meaning active so if it is it goes down this path we have four ms variations just uh, it helps deliverability if you're sending the same message over and over again carriers will block you we also drip it at 200 per day and two per minute now you can likely increase this over time but when you're new to go high level or if you're just starting texting you need to warm up your account i found that this is about the max you want to start with the two per minute is is a good amount to send it doesn't alert the carriers that you're a bot automating messages. It feels more natural, and so that's what you want. Then when we send the message, we have four different variations of cold text messages. You can see the different variations here. I write these messages using AI, and I also tell the AI to make sure and don't use spammy words and words that get flagged. So all these messages in here are compliant. They should be compliant unless carriers change the rules. Then we wait 48 hours, which is the recommended amount of time, so you also don't get flagged. Many people send too often, which is an issue. We drip two per minute, we send the next message, 72 hours, two per minute, cold text message, 128 hours, two per minute, cold text message. And then at the end, it dies. Um, and if it gets to the end, it's tagged with no response. If they respond, it's before it gets to the end, it's tagged with a response. So. I just wanted to show you this quick example of how we're utilizing the power of this third party phone validator and then combined with our cold text automation here within Go High Level. So many people ask me about this and want it. I now provide it as part of my system. If you want to join Go High Level, you need a better system for wholesaling, please hit me up. The calendar link to meet with me is down below. I can get you all set up, get something built out for you that you'll absolutely love. And it comes with automations like this and many others. So I hope this was helpful and that it will really help increase your deliverability rates in cold text messages if you're doing something like this in Go High Level.